What's happening, viewers and viewers? This is your boy Big Mike coming at you again. It's been a good while since I made any videos, but I'm back. I have some topics I want to talk about. With the warmer weather coming in, I can come out to my um, studio here and not worry about freezing to death while I'm trying to record. So, I want to talk today about something that's kind of near and dear to my heart. And, um... Among the general um, circle of people that should be interested in this kind of thing, it's very down, looked down upon. And um, I think it deserves a little bit more respect than what it gets. And what I'm going to be talking about is RoboCop 3. I saw RoboCop 3 in the theaters back in 1993 when it came out. Maybe that's why it holds such, you know, a closeness to me. Um, I can I can guarantee, uh, I won't lie, RoboCop 3 is not the best in the franchise. I can tell you that any day, all day long. But I don't think it's as bad as what people are saying. Um... So since we're talking about RoboCop, let's go back to the first one. 1987, Peter Weller starred as Alex Murphy, um, a Detroit police officer that's brutally murdered in the line of duty and resurrected as a crime-fighting cyborg named RoboCop. The movie itself is probably one of the best movies ever in cinematic history. The acting is great. The special effects were, you know, top of the line for 1987. And it's just a good overall story. Um, the city that the movie takes place in is a futuristic Detroit, Michigan. Even though they filmed most of the movie in Dallas, Texas, and parts of it in Monessen, Pennsylvania, where a lot of the steel mills are, or were. Um, great movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Alright, so let's move on to RoboCop 2. Made in 1990. Uh, Peter Weller reprises his role as RoboCop with a small cameo from Alex Murphy in a scene of the movie. Um, the movie changes its, um its tone a little bit. Um, it's actually my third favorite, which is why I'm making this video. Um, if you go back, if you remember the original Batman movies, the first two with Michael Keaton as Batman, they were dark, gritty, kind of scary feeling, you know, Tim Burton. But when you get to the third one, Batman Forever, it's you know, sparkly, um, uh, uh, neon lights everywhere, you know, everything's flamboyant. That's kind of how RoboCop 2 is. Everything's lighter, um, but RoboCop 2 is directed by, um, Irving Kirshner, who directed Empire Strikes Back. And everybody, well, most people believe that Empire Strikes Back is the best of the original Star Wars trilogy. Personally, I like Return of the Jedi, but that's just me. So, now, it's RoboCop 2 is not a bad movie. Um, but I just don't like the way things are in that one. Um, it's It's... It's hard to explain, to be honest. But So let's go on to the hard topic for today. RoboCop 3. Now, again, I saw RoboCop 3 in the movie theaters back in 1993 when it came out. And I don't think it deserves the hatred that it gets. Yes, Peter Weller does not portray RoboCop in this movie. Um, 
because he decided to do another project which failed and yet has become a cult classic at the same time. So that was a mistake, Peter Weller not returning. But uh, Robert John Burke portrayed RoboCop in this movie. Now, this movie, RoboCop 3, it, it goes back to being dark and gritty again. And um, it's a little bit more, a lot more lighthearted than the first two. Because I think this one was more um, marketed towards children. Uh, but if, you, if they were to go back and do some kind of re-edit to RoboCop 3... I personally think it could rival the first movie. Um, even the setting, the city that's supposed to be Detroit, Michigan, in RoboCop 3, it seems like, to me, actual Detroit. And it's definitely a much more realistic Detroit than what Part 2 was showing. Um... Now, yes, they, they toned down the violence and the gore and stuff like that. Added a lot more comical stuff to it. But, I guarantee you, if they were to go back, do some kind of re-edit of RoboCop 3, it would be one of the best in the franchise. You can argue with me on that, and I appreciate if you do. Okay? So, um, I'm going to end the video now, and I appreciate everybody watching. Come back soon, and I have a special announcement. If you haven't watched my videos recently, or you're not um, connected with me on social media, hopefully I will be going for weight loss surgery in the summer. Um, hopefully July, by the way it looks. Um, I have to have a six-month uh, um, supervised weight loss where I um, they monitor my food intake and stuff like that. So um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, either way, whether I get it done or I don't. But uh, again, I appreciate everybody watching. Come back. Hopefully we'll have some good stuff going on. Have a good one.